Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Plasma Coil. To get this gun, you will need the Arms Race DLC, and it can be found as a world drop anywhere. So it can drop from a random enemy, or a vendor, or a chest, but the way I recommend farming it is from the final boss. The final boss, Harker, has a guaranteed chance to drop a DLC legendary, and that is my preferred method. Anyways, let's jump into the DLC and get this gun. To get there, go ahead and come to Sanctuary, and you're going to find a poster on the wall here. It will tell you to go over to Pandora at the Stormblind Complex. That is where the arms race is located. Now, I did already get the drops, so I will go ahead and play for you. Oh, legendary. Plasma Coil, that's a new one. Cool. Anyways, we have ourselves the Plasma Coil. Damage, pretty high. Accuracy, great. Handling, not bad. Reload time, not bad for an SMG. Fire rate, really fast. And mag size, 48. For the red text, harness the fourth state of matter. One thing you might have noticed is the status effect damage. Yeah, it is really strong. Also, this gun only comes in the radiation and shock element combo, so it cannot drop in fire, corrosive, or cryo. Alright, so the weapon does look pretty good. It's got a gold, black, and white color theme, and I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah, I like it. When you hold down a trigger... Yeah, it shoots in 16 round burst. There really isn't a whole lot to say about it, it just has really high damage and damage over time. Now, it should be noted that after the 16 round burst, it does pause for a second. So you can see here, I'm going to shoot at a few. I'm going to stop there, swap over the element, and we're going to shoot again. And yeah, you can see the gun did want to finish that 16 round burst. Like a lot of Malawans, it does splash damage too. So if you are close to the enemy, it can down you. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 11, the max difficulty. Let's go ahead and push forward. And I'm going to say right now, this gun is disgusting. Like, look at this. Deleted. That guy over there, he died. Deleted. Now, it only comes in shock and radiation, so for these kind of enemies, I'm going to focus on radiation. Um, radiation is neutral on flesh, so I don't want to get the negative bonus for using shock on flesh. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This thing is ridiculous. Is it too strong? I don't know, but I find it fun. For mobbing, it is extremely good, so let's take on a boss. Alright, let's do Gamma Burst. Hopefully, you turn around. Hopefully. And we can just go for the crit. Not a huge deal. And he's dead. Wow. Okay, let's take on a different boss. Alright, time for Grave Lord. Let's go ahead and shoot at the chest. And he is dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if this gun could come in fire, it would be even more insane. But even then, radiation on flesh isn't a huge deal, and it does get the job done. Not bad at all. Anyways, final thoughts on the Plasma Coil. It is very good. Not only does it have really high damage, but it also has really high fire rate to make that damage even more insane. On top of that, the damage over time is really nice. As for the complaints, the only one that comes to mind is... It can only be Radiation and Shock Element. Overall, this gun is a really good weapon of choice. And yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.